WHBF is local for Davenport and local for you. This is Local 4 News at 4. We are local for family fun every Friday. The Putnam has a great opportunity to learn about nature's most beautiful pollinators, the monarch butterfly. Erica Copenhafer is one of Putnam's education specialists joining yes. us today. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, so first up, uh, a monarch butterfly workshop is going on at the Putnam. What can yes. you tell me about it? So this weekend, um, we're having a monarch butterfly workshop. It's uh, ongoing. I think it's been running more than 30 years now. And uh, we have a workshop for people to learn more about the butterflies and their life cycle. Uh, we have some cool crafts for the kids to do. And then we also show Flight of the Butterflies, which is uh, a 3D movie in our giant screen theater. All right, and a lot of activities that are revolving around the monarch butterfly and why they're so important. Yeah, so uh, the monarch butterfly, they're not on the endangered status, uh, but their uh, habits are. And so it's really important that um, we continue to have them grow and foster them um, here in captivity and then let them go into the wild so that they can migrate to Mexico. And you brought a little guy with us right I here. Is he part of the care a workshop? A little friend, yes. So the care workshop, we have four workshops, and unfortunately, they're all sold out. So um, it, when you attend a workshop, you get um, a caterpillar to take home for your very own. And um, you'll put them, uh, ideally, in a large jar. And he will grow maybe about twice this size, and then he will form a chrysalis and in about a week or so become a butterfly, which you can then release into the wild. Oh wow, the caterpillars are so beautiful too. And then they I turn know. into something even more yes. beautiful. Yes, he's got wow. very nice markings, very distinctive markings that you can tell um, exactly what a caterpillar looks like. So if you find a milkweed plant out in the wild, you can check and see if it has some caterpillars on it. Oh wow. Now so the workshop is sold out, but there's a lot more to do. Yes, so even if you can't make it to the workshop, um, we still have some really cool crafts for some kids. So if you have some kids, bring them out. The crafts are completely free, um, and you can buy a ticket to see uh, the movie, uh, which is really great in 3D. I love to see it with kids because they're always trying to reach up and grab the butterflies in the movie. Uh, so still, even if you can't, didn't get a ticket to the workshop, you can still come and have a great time at the Putnam this weekend. All right. Yeah, it's always fun to see uh, the kids' reactions to everything. I know. They're so cute. It's why I became an educator. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much, Erica, for coming thank in today. Thank you. Okay. And right, for more information on the Putnam and uh, all the events going on there, visit ourquadcities.com. Well, here are some more family-friendly events happening this holiday weekend. The Quad City Botanical Center will light up for a fun part tonight to celebrate the culture. It's called the Glow Party. There'll be live music, snacks, and drinks. When the sun sets, the splash pad will light up. This runs from 7 to 9. And tomorrow is Amor Leopard Day at the Nabby Zoo. Learn all about conservation needs, the critically endangered animal. There are less than 60 left in the wild habitats. The event runs from 10 to 4. Up next, a display of team spirit. More on a colorful show of support and package deal. Why these mini horse and goose must be adopted.